Hey there, Tom here from FibonacciTraders.com here with the weekly market recap. I hope everybody's enjoying the weekend. We'll go over SPY Qs, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tesla, Apple and many more names. So please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends will be much appreciated. Without any further ado, let's see the charts. With next week earnings season coming into boiling point, Microsoft, Amazon, Enphase, Meta, Google, everyone except Apple, earnings next week. This week, SPY closed with a doji on the 412, indecision in the market, which means if market cannot decide, we surely cannot decide. We need to sit on hands and see how market will react to next week big earnings. 412 look left since May of 2022 very strong resistance level let's see if bulls have enough power to break up above finally close above the 412 or maybe the 415 next week and then we can assume with high probability 431 is next breaking down and under 405 needs to hold Otherwise, we are going to retest the 397. All we have to do, listen to price, follow price and use trend lines and Fibonacci levels to manage our risk. This is the only thing traders have full control of. Risk management, nothing more, nothing less. QQQ for consecutive weeks, failing to close above the 321 area. Now 312 needs to hold, otherwise 307 together with this red trend line are next major support that bulls need to defend. Breaking up and above the 321, we can assume with high probability 330 and 340 are next in line as resistance. IWM since March, since beginning of March between the 170 and the 180 to the upside. Let's see where IWM is taking us. Long continuation above the 180, short below the 170. All we have to do, use levels to manage our risk. Dow Jones, perfect example of why trend lines are the true support resistance for price action. In this case, is a very tough resistance since January of 2022. Each and every time bulls of the Dow tried to break up and above, they failed. This week closed as a doji inside candle. The most important signal in candlestick analysis of an indecision in the market. The market is waiting for next week's earnings. It all comes down to next week earnings. Good reaction, long continuation above the 341. Bad reaction, 335 needs to hold, otherwise we have all the levels to the downside for future supports. Bitcoin, 31 to the upside, tough resistance, it was resistance over here during May and June of 2022. Now, once again, resistance, 26600 to the downside needs to hold, otherwise 25 is next support. 23 and all the rest to the downside. Ethereum, still in an uptrend channel, but as you can see, this trend line that goes all the way back to June of 2022 from support, broke to the downside, resistance, resistance, and this week also resistance. 2140 together with this white trend line is resistance. 1800 needs to hold. Otherwise, 1600, 1640, together with this white trend line, needs to hold. And maybe then we will look for some kind of a bounce. Same as it did here. Same as it did here. SMH, another week, another doji. Above the 248, barely holding the 248 as support. This 248 area from support. Look here, July of 2021 all the way to February of 2022, broke to the downside, then from support became resistance. Now 
once again from resistance to support since middle of March. Let's see how market will react next week earnings. Breaking to the downside, we can take Fibonacci, swing low, swing high. And as you can see, 247, 248 needs to hold. Otherwise, going towards 235 and maybe all the way back to close this gap at the 213. Positive reaction for next week's earnings. 263, above it, long continuation towards 285. Oil, crude on the week to 82, 83 area, very tough resistance, not surprising, it is a very tough resistance since November of 2022, and now, even with three weeks ago, this gap to the upside, 83, tough resistance, now price is retracing to close this gap, and then we will look for a bounce of the 74, 73 area towards back to the 82, or retracement and short continuation below the 74 towards 70 and 64 to the downside. XHB, Home Builders ETF, very bullish week, broke above this short term downtrend. Now, 70 needs to break to the upside. 72 will be next. XLF. Trend lines. This red trend line goes all the way to March 2020. COVID lows. Support October 2022. Support March 23. Then broke to the downside. And since then, from support to resistance. And if we take Fibonacci from high to low and as we can see not surprising 50% retracement together with this red trend line very tough resistance let's see if bulls of xlf can break up and above towards the 3440 or are we going back towards 31 and maybe all the way back to 3040 apple in the meantime, if you like what you see in this video, we'll be much appreciated if you just take one second to hit the like, subscribe and share with friends. We'll be much appreciated. Help me grow this channel. Thank you very much. Apple on the weekly doji below the trend line. Touch the trend line and got reversal. This trend line goes all the way back to December of 2021. And as we can see each and every time, since then it got rejected and if we look left doji of a trend line downtrend doji of a trend line downtrend number four doji of this trend line downtrend and now once again doji of a trend line are we going to get the same price action as we got here here and here are we going to get the same price action over here all we have to do is follow price and see where price is heading. We can take Fibonacci 168, 169 together with this red trend line. Closing above it, we are going towards the 175. Breaking below the 163, this 163 needs to hold. Otherwise, 158 and maybe towards 153. Anything can happen, never be biased. Watch price, learn in-depth candlestick analysis and the relationship with trend lines and Fibonacci. No other, no other indicators are truly needed, not even volume. Why? Because everything follows price. If everything follows price, let us be our own indicator and our own roadmap to the future. If you want to take your trading journey to the highest level, Stop following others and take your financial freedom in your own hands. Check the links in the description below. We have two programs, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship live program or same program but pre-recorded. Six hours, 49 lessons. My promise to you, 
you will become your own indicator, lifetime access, lifetime support, lifetime guidance, until you say, I don't need anyone else, I can do it by myself. This is my promise to you, check the links in the description below. Amazon with earnings coming up Thursday, breaking up above the 104. This 104 was very important level of support over here, May and June of 2022, then broke to the downside and since then was a very tough resistance until this week. Broke to the upside, now let's see continuation and let's see how market will react to Amazon's earnings. Good reaction and this trend line, this purple trend line that goes all the way to November of 2021, maybe once and for all, will break to the upside. Then we have 122 and 134 to the upside. Bad reaction and we have all the levels to the downside to manage our risk as support. Microsoft also have earnings coming up on Tuesday, 292 as you can see, very tough resistance, not surprising it was resistance over here, resistance over here, support over here during September and October 2021, now this area of the 220, 292 and the 294 together with this white trend line, very tough area of resistance, positive reaction for, from the market to Microsoft earnings and we are going to break up and above towards the 306 and maybe all the way to 325. Bad reaction, 281 will break to the downside and then we have 273 and maybe all the way back to 262. It all comes down to how market will react to the earnings and it doesn't matter if the report is good or bad, it just is a matter of how market reacts to this report. Meta trend line is holding. So until proven otherwise, Meta is in an uptrend. Meta also have earnings coming up next week on Wednesday. Breaking below this trend line, we have all the levels to the downside to manage our risk. And maybe this void on the daily at the 153 will get filled. Good reaction, breaking above the 222, 245, 268 to the upside, our next resistance. Google also earnings coming up on Tuesday. And as we can see, trend lines are the two support resistance for price action good reaction from the market and this trend line will get break to the upside bad reaction we are going back maybe all the way to 94 together with this red trend line to the downside and to make our life easier we take fibonacci swing low swing high 104 needs to hold or are we going to break up and above this red trend line together with the 110 towards 115 and maybe all the way to 124 bad reaction look at all the levels to the downside together with this red trend line as the future supports netflix still in an uptrend with all the news with all the noise netflix uptrend until proven otherwise we can take fibonacci swing low Swing high, 618 held, 50% retracement is holding. Let's see continuation above the 340 and maybe all the way to 377. Also Netflix had earnings past week, but Netflix is part of the market. And if the market will react bad to all the big names, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, Google, Netflix is a part of it and Netflix will break to the downside towards 286 in my opinion and of course everything you've seen on my channel and in this video is 
for educational purposes only. It's only my opinion. Never follow anyone blindly on social media. Paid or free services. Always do your own due diligence. You can follow to get ideas. You can follow to get education. But in the end of the day, it's up to you. You. NVIDIA. 260 to the downside. 280 to the upside. Five weeks of sideways move. Long continuation above the 280. Short below 260. Fibonacci. Swing low. Swing high. Short below 261 towards 247 and maybe towards 230. Nvidia on the daily have this gap at the 210. So short maybe will go and close this gap. Long continuation above the 280 towards 304 and maybe towards all time highs at the 338. Follow price use levels to manage risk. I know I sound like a broken record, but this is it. Risk management and no other indicators are needed because all indicators are lagging. We all can look left. We all can identify where price came from, from support to resistance, from support, 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 breaking to the downside. And this gap over here at the 146 will get filled. Bounce, breaking to the upside above the 210 together with this white trend line where price will be headed next. This is our problem. This is all we want to know. Where price might be headed next. We take Fibonacci, swing low, swing high. And now we can see the 165 together with the 160 needs to hold. Otherwise, this gap, together with the 50% retracement, will get filled. Bounce to the upside. We need a break above the white trend line because the white trend line resistance. Then we can assume with high probability 255 is next with this gap at the 261. Looking left is good, but where price is heading next this is our problem. This is what we want to do. We need a roadmap to the future. Trend lines, Fibonacci, in-depth candlestick analysis gives you the perfect roadmap into the future of price action. Shopify, trend line, uptrend until proven otherwise. The 50 area is a very tough resistance. As you can see, four consecutive weeks tough resistance, long continuation above it, towards where we have Fibonacci to tell us, 55 above it, 63.55, breaking below this red trend line for a week or two, then we have all the levels to the downside for future support, AMD, downtrend on the short term, but look left, uptrend channel since October of 2022. Each and every time price reached this white trend line, it got rejected also here. Now where price will be headed next. Next support, 83.80 to the downside. Failing to hold, we have this trend line that needs to hold. And then we will look for a bounce. Back up, same as it did here and same as it did here. This is all the story. It's all technical analysis. And technical analysis, you can be the best technician in the world. You can have the best strategy in the world. But if your mindset is not adjust and you cannot control or manage your mindset and your emotions, doesn't matter which strategy you are using, you will fail. 90% of trading is the psychology behind trading. Check Fibonacci Traders Academy, 20 videos on 20 minutes or less on how to become a better trader on the technical and on the mental side. It's free. Check it out and let me know what do you think. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends will be much appreciated. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, enjoy the rest of your weekend.